In a world where women's sports is being transformed, the Daily Wire calls foul with the most triggering comedy of the year. Guys, this is serious. Sports can be your pathway to a better life. Well, like yours? <laughs> Please don't steal my catalytic converter again. Okay, first of all, uh, Daily Wire, I do not remove this. All right, this is my free speech. So fuck you if you copyright strike me for this video. All right, I've been copyright struck before for the trailer videos. I'm just saying, I don't expect they will. I'm not saying they will, but I'm just hoping they don't. So as you can see, today we're talking about Lady Ballers. Now this is a film coming out of Daily Wire. It's supposed to be like the first film for their like new Daily Wire Plus situation they got going on. That's supposed to give you various movies, content, etc. Uh, they're also having, I believe, a kids section with that, which has kind of been the talk of the town for a little bit of you know they will constantly say that trans people are grooming their kids but then they make content specifically to you know try to push their opinions onto children which is what they claim the other side does it's very weird either way i'm here to talk about the merits of the movie this isn't a political channel i might discuss this in a political sense over on the crazy rocky channel for some variety content but let's finish the trailer here and then let's just talk about this as a movie Winning matters. It's the key ingredient in becoming a winner. Maybe you should try it sometime. Are you gonna move? I am not. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. I know you're not a woman. Hey, you don't know how he identifies. If you can beat them. What do you know about the U.S. Opens for the Global Games? You want us to compete as women. $5,000 prizes. My lover says you were a great coach back in the day. Join. This is the way the world is now. My eight-year-old daughter told me all about it. So a guy can become a girl with no physical changes at all. Oh, that's called gender fluid. So I can be a woman on the court and a man in the bedroom. I can't believe it. Nice. You mean when you're sleeping? Yes. Coach. Alex. We, we could play, play basketball. basketball. We'd have to get the whole team back together. It's time. We're in. I'm in. I'm in to play Lady Baldur's. Man up. Oh. Like a girl. That's why I'm with her. Believe oh. oh. me, my truth. Oh. This is my oh. truth. From heroes. Day one of being a girl athlete. <laughs> I love being a girl. To sheroes. We could dominate every woman's sport. Running. Swimming, soccer. I said sport, Felix. It's ladies basketball, boys. Nobody watches. Excuse me. Are these seats open? <laughs> ne never mind. Getting dunks. <laughs> and tucking trunks. You know she did it. All right, so there you have it. There is the trailer for Lady Ballers. Now, the first thing I will say is that I have to give props to the actors. The actors look like they're taking this like as a serious comedy film. I'm not gonna say they're taking it seriously because it is supposed to very clearly be a comedy, but they're actually taking their roles somewhat seriously and doing some decent comedic acting. That line where he tells the you know girl like, no, I'm just talking about being asleep, or yes, I am just talking about being asleep when I'm talking about being a guy in bed. Uh, I like the delivery of it. Generally, though, I think these jokes, a lot of them are just overplayed. Like, using a word that has trans in it and just to kind of make fun of that there are trans people is very strange. Matt Reif did this where he's like, he said like uh, uh, transportation about like a trans person in a wheelchair, which doesn't even make sense. Overall, it's just another word with trans in it that slightly relates to the topic. And so those types of jokes, they've been doing that for a while alongside like the helicopter style jokes are all extremely overplayed and really stupid. I think that on top of that, for 
some reason, in certain scenes, it looks like it's shot with a pretty nice expensive camera, but other scenes it looks really cheap. It looks kind of like uh, they didn't put much color grading into it, they didn't take much care into like how it was shot and the de like the process of that, and so it gives it this just overall cheap and kind of hollow feel. And again, it's weird because it's not throughout the entire thing, just some scenes feel like a student film. Beyond that, it also seems like there's just a lot going on. This trailer was pretty cluttered with like we start out with the female athletes and then it obviously is the reveal of the trans uh, person that's supposed that's faking being trans and isn't actually trans and just so they can get ahead in sports and then basically we play into like the comedy there but then we also have the side character of this guy who's helping him and then they're on top of that getting an entire basketball team back together and on top of that they seem to be like building out this kind of like mis mischievous plan to take over sports in general by doing this it's a very strange and i mean it just goes to show how stupid like people thought that this was going to happen that like men were going to go pretend to be women all the time just to break the records in women's categories and i mean that obviously hasn't happened and i think this movie just shows how absolutely absurd that would be regardless it almost makes fun of what they're trying to say in a certain way by being almost a parody of what i would think a conservative would say which is very strange seeing it come from daily wire at the same time i think that cheap quality and just the overplayed nature of the jokes definitely brings it down quite a bit what do you guys think do you think that this is good or bad are you gonna watch it do you enjoy it do you like daily wire i don't know man you let me know in the comments below besides that you can follow us on twitter and instagram that'll pop up during the outro movie sessions here we have for more trailer content smoking sessions for movie news interviews crazy rocky for variety and the uh try podcast for our podcast channel all right guys i'll see you all in the next one Abducted by my brain and it drains all the dopamine Pain leaving nothing but the dreams that have been holding me Reality cracks and it falls at the openings Blasted out center just to see all the broken dreams Trapped in a track to be feeling like an acid dream Feeling like I'm floor keeper casting me snitch on reality glitches Retaliate wish, turn the mountain upside down to a valley right quick